Here we are, Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog video series, and today I am with the installed Falco e conversion system. Now I put this on kind of an old school Diamondback uh, Comfort slash mountain bike, and so far things are going great. Uh, so, got some options here. So, what we got is an 11.6 amp, 36 volt battery with the uh, frame mount. And in the video I showed before, I, I kind of I said rack mount. It does come with a rack mount option. And right here behind it, that is your wireless module. That's what uh, speaks to uh, your laptop, I guess your phone, and also the display unit. So your display unit is up here. And you've got your push buttons for your assist levels here. And these hook together, but they're wireless to the rest of the system. Modes and uh, what you got going on here. Uh, this has a separate battery built into it uh, that recharges from its own uh, charger. Now this is a very easy system to put on as far as the wiring goes. Now uh, the company does need a little work on their instructions and I've been giving them some guidance uh, to get a little bit better instructions. They have different motors. Uh, some use uh, dual torque arms and uh, I'm getting it on there. I spent a little extra time uh, but it's on there nice and solid. Now uh, so over here is the one torque arm and it took a little bit of doing to make it fit this bike just right. Now another thing going on here is this particular kit is designed for uh, uh, vertical dropouts and this bike has near horizontal dropouts and uh, there's really no way to adjust for that so uh, they don't really talk too much about it in their site but uh, if you get this kit uh, try to ho hopefully you're having a bike that has vertical dropouts and that way the torque sensor that's built into the motor uh, will actually be in the correct sequence. So the wiring is pretty simple. It's got one wire that comes from the throttle, well, I didn't show you that yet, that plugs into the motor. It's got one wire that plugs from the motor, which has the electronics in it, that pl plugs directly to the battery, and then one more wire that goes to that wireless module. So uh, they're very well marked, uh, the connectors go together really nicely, and uh, that part is very simple. Okay, part of what goes on here is because it's wireless, uh, it hooks in through your laptop with a wireless mode, and the, uh, uh, I got the uh, USB that does that. And uh, so you can set some parameters on the motor, uh, oh, with regen, power, uh, oh, uh, different things. So that's kind of an interesting deal. So like I say, the electronics are in the motor, except for the few that are in the display unit. Okay, so it does come with a hand throttle thumb throttle right here and that's active all the time. Uh, I believe they do have a twist throttle option. So the uh, control unit has some various modes and stuff and I'll get into those a little bit more. I will, of course I'll do a full uh, post. Uh, mounting these is very simple, uh, very straightforward. Okay so that's the Falco E system on my old school Diamondback. And uh, I'll do uh, a little more testing, a lot more riding, and give you the full update on this. Now, they do have different options on your motors. Uh, gosh, all the way up to 1,500 watts. This is the 500-watt version, which I figured most people would opt for. Uh, much more efficient. Uh, some people might go for the 750-watt to get a little more power. And, of course, they do have ones with more or less power. And that's your option, of course. All right. Well, a lot more information coming up in the Falco e-bike e conversion system. Just kind of wanted to show you how the install went.